Right, so what injuries have you got, mate? Just sit yourself down. Is ambulance here, mate? Is it just you are right there, mate. Wait, right, so just need that. Is it still bleeding? Let's just have a quick look, mate. Right, Yes, people, this is the moment criminals from Salford carried out a robbery on some criminals from Liverpool. After plotting for weeks and fitting a tracking device to a car, they were able to find out where the drug stash was. They hit around 9.30 on the 23rd of May 2020 during lockdown when the roads were empty. Accomplice, Ben Monks Garton, posing as a delivery driver, walked to the door of a house with just an empty box in his hand. As the door opened, three men dressed in all black and hooded up, stormed in. They were Jason Cox, his brother Craig and Liverpool man Richard Caswell. Within a matter of minutes, they battered the man and his son using an axe and machete, leaving them seriously injured, then made off with 30 keys of cocaine with an estimated wholesale value of 1.2 million. And as you can see in the clip, the gang run back to the white van which was on false plates and never recovered. They throw two bags containing drugs into the back, then they drive off. Video taken inside the property by police shows how several rooms in the hallway were left covered in blood. The older victim had his arm cut to the bone by a machete. Cox brothers Jason 35 and Craig 33 joined up with Liverpool man. Richard Caswell to prepare for the plot and hired Ben Monks Garton who posed as a delivery driver and carried an empty box to the door. The identity of the other Liverpool criminals, the ones who got robbed, cannot be revealed due to legal reasons. The Cox siblings, along with brother Lee Cox, 38, also admitted being involved in large-scale drug dealing, being linked to more than 20 kilos of cocaine and 50 kilos of cannabis. Monks Garton was jailed for six years for his part in the robbery. Michael Nevin, 35 who described himself as a gangster transporter for the Cox Gang, was sentenced to almost 10 years. Their associate, Caswell, member of a Liverpool gang linked to a spate of car bombs across the city in 03 and 04, came up with a plan to rob the gang and spoke to Jason Cox on Encrow chat and prosecutors said Jason Cox, Richard Caswell had set about a detailed plan to rob the Liverpool crime gang. They began to further the plot like putting trackers on cars, taking reconnaissance missions to see where the stash house was and when was best to strike. In Encro chat messages recovered, Caswell described a member of the Liverpool gang they went to rob as a horrible C-U-N-T. In a message to Jason Cox, Caswell added, if we get his driver, do you think he will be the man with access to the gaff with it all in? He added, I would even be up for killing him if needs be. Discussions about using a tracking device to find a stash house also reveal with Jason Cox having made contacts with a surveillance firm in Manchester. Cox asked Caswell, do you think this firm are wary of trackers? Yes, Caswell replied, they have been at it for years. If they suspected us, they would want to put us on a lie detector. We need to be spot on with this. Further discussions about the robbery. Jason Cox said he was eager, describing a Liverpool gang. Caswell said, these proper smash it. In the days prior to the robbery, the gang made reconnaissance trips to Merseyside to try find a stash house. The robbery was set for the morning of Saturday, May 23rd. They met in Warrington before travelling to Liverpool to meet Caswell. Two men were severely injured in the robbery. After Monts Garton went to the front door as a delivery driver, his DNA was found on a Covid mask left behind. About 13 of the 30 kilos of cocaine that was stolen were given to Nevin, who couriered them to other criminals. Cocaine with a stamp used by the Liverpool gang was found in a self-storage unit in Bury, which was linked to Nevin. Jason Cox of Warrington, Craig Cox of No Fixed Address, Caswell of No Fixed Address and Monks Garton of No Fixed Address all pleaded guilty to conspiracy to rob. Jason Cox, Craig Cox, Lee Cox of Salford and Michael Nevin of Fallowfield all pleaded guilty to conspiracy to supply cocaine and cannabis and conspiracy to possess criminal property. Caswell also admitted conspiracy to supply cocaine and heroin and criminal property. Crazy one there people, but that's it for this one. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check back for more, yeah? Peace.